if you've seen Raj from uh, The Big Bang Theory, then you know what I'm talking about. Got this. Leonard, uh -huh. Howard, and I'm sorry, what was your name again? <laughs> Check out his Raj from The Big Bang Theory and check out how beautifully he displays social anxiety in front of women where he can't talk or say anything to them. Let me tell you about Raghav and tell me if you are Raghav. Raghav was one of my clients and don't worry if taking his consent before sharing this. Raghav always thought he was a shy person. He thought that he was shy, he didn't like to engage with people. But it's only when he started therapy is when he realized that he actually has social anxiety disorder. Do you have social anxiety disorder? Hi, my name is Dr. Aradatta and welcome to my channel. This is all about Psychiatry SQL. It's a way that you can learn more about psychiatry, psychiatric phenomena. I'm a consultant psychiatrist. I make mental health videos and I make relatable videos on AI, productivity, mental health, wellness and whatnot. Now, Raghav, considering himself to be a shy person is normal, right? We consider shyness to be a personality trait and a lot of us are shy, a lot of us are outgoing and extroverted. But Social anxiety is a lot more than just being very, very introverted or very shy. Raghav despised being in the public. He hated it to the point that he refused to meet new people. He would be very anxious in a place. He would be constantly fidgety. He would feel like the whole eyes, pair of the world's eyes are on him. And he would just want to sink in somewhere. Which started impacting his uh, personal and work life. He couldn't date. He couldn't find new jobs. And the idea of even meeting new people was just not okay. In fact, the people he knew whom he was comfortable with also, he didn't want to meet them either because he thought that how will I eat in front of them? Using public restroom was very hard. Traveling and uh, transportation was extremely difficult. These are the hallmark signs of social anxiety. So first and foremost, is shyness the same as social anxiety? No. Shyness is a personality trait. Many of us have different degrees and shades of uh, shyness. At the same time, I'd like to say that some of us are more shy, less shy. Uh, it can be overcome with a little bit of boosting of confidence. It can be overcome with a little bit of pushing you out there in social situations. But social anxiety disorder or social phobia is a phobia or a disorder, a type of anxiety disorders, right? So social anxiety, kya hai? it, it occur, occurs in about 7 to 12% of the population. And people feel extremely nervous, extremely afraid. They feel like... Uh, they're gonna really go inside the earth and they want to just crawl inside and not be seen. They hate being in uh, any form of, uh, not even limelight, just being any kind of social situation. It can also lead to agoraphobia, not stepping out of the house, which is another video that I'll make all together. Now, when facing this physically, they may have sweating, trembling, their tummy starts doing flips and psychologically they're feeling they're being judged, they're self-conscious and they may also have like a panic attack at that moment. Now, when is it considered a disease? Social phobia is a disease because it impacts your day-to-day -day functioning and robs you of opportunities that you would have otherwise availed if you were not having those issues. We use DSM-5 and ICD to diagnose this condition. We, as clinicians, put you through a couple of self-assessments, uh, subjective, objective assessments, and then, of course, your history is very important for social anxiety disorder. That's how it's diagnosed. What can you do if you have social anxiety? Please start with acceptance accept that you need professional help accept that you have a condition which is treatable so please don't shy away from getting help consider a combination of starting off with seeing a psychiatrist who will then ask you whether your medications are required or not and also therapy will be needed and some lifestyle changes will be needed a big part is getting support from loved ones people who already are in your life who take care of you your emotional needs one fun tip that I have for folks with social anxiety is to play a lot of video games, uh, multiple player video games, uh, you know, anything online where there is role playing or there is putting yourself out in social situation or talking with people on the headphone. One example would be the game Sims. One example would be Dragons and Dungeons where you could role play and, you know, be whoever you want to be. What do we do in therapy in social anxiety? First of all, we identify and challenge the negative thought patterns. We try to build self-confidence. We keep on gradually exposing you to different, different places. We do not flood you, relax. VR and AR can also be used. In fact, AI is an excellent tool that we use for all of these things. We help you develop communication skills. We help you incorporate better lifestyle, how to set boundaries with strangers so that you feel that they take over your life. 
at the same time we help you get network with other people who may have similar conditions uh eventually you end up coming out with flying colors and knowing that you know you are able to step out in the big bad world without that constant fear or judgment let me answer some more frequently asked questions how long does it take to overcome social anxiety disorder there is not a one answer fits all kind of template everybody is different some people take uh, more therapy sessions or they reach for help a little bit quicker so they get better faster but as some people take a little bit longer uh, so there is no template for that uh, it is important to consider that avoidance is the main strategy so one of the most common questions i get asked is that how is avoidance bad i'm just not putting myself in the comfortable position or comfortable uncomfortable situation right remember excess of anything is bad if you're just using one strategy to go through life it's not okay that one coping skill is being overused to the point and it's affecting your productivity and your day to day life so maybe reconsider avoidance is not always good can social anxiety be cured completely no nothing can be cured completely you can overcome manage and get better at managing social anxiety it's like saying can you promise me that you'll never have a common cold ever in your life no you can't having said that i hope you liked this video it was all about social anxiety let me know if you need more topics on in psychiatry seco about mental health don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll be waiting for that thumbs up take care dr erudatta signing off